This is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion with one of the legendary pitching coaches in baseball history, Leo Mazzoni. And Coach, you uh, had some great advice uh, to young pitchers about not always throwing as hard as you can, getting some off-season, and some thoughts about training. What, what are some of just a couple of key things for youth pitchers to keep in mind uh, so they train properly? Well, well, number one, more often with less exertion is always better than less often with more exertion. Uh, for example, you know, we have to eliminate the term velocity or velo or radar guns because these youngsters are being told that if they don't hit a certain number on a radar gun, they don't make a club or they don't, a traveling all, don't make a traveling all-star team, they don't get a scholarship or they don't sign. So what's the first thing a youngster is going to try to do? He's going to try to match that number on the radar gun and jack up his velo, as they call it, which I didn't even know what that meant till I was out of the game. And, and try to teach pitchers how to throw more often, less exertion, get them a little touch on and see what kind of coordination they have, and then go use common sense and go from there. You know, you're, you're basically, if I ask, am I asking you to run seven miles in a week, where would you feel better, running one mile every day or running seven miles, taking four or five days off and doing it again? Well, that's how you bring along an arm, one mile every day, a little bit at a time. And don't be so concerned about what the pitcher's velocity is. Whatever velocity he has that particular day is what you work with. And you do not try to raise that number. And anybody that, can, that tells a young pitcher, come with me for a week or two and we'll have f get five more miles an hour on your velocity, the parents do, do not need to listen to that crap. It's all a bunch of BS. You grow into your velocity. You never try to reach velocity. Absolutely, and Coach, I represent the American Legion, which has thousands of players right now playing, representing posts across the country. What is uh, some of your advice for uh, players who are in that you know, late high school, early college age group about uh, how they should prepare in pitching? Is, is it different as you're getting to that age? Well, when you, uh, and by the way, I, play, I pitch for Victory Post 155 in Westerport, Maryland. <laughs> oh, that's great to hear. Legion Baseball. Yep, my dad was a coach. And uh, so anyway, uh, when you get to that point, it's, it's being able to, to locate pitches with stuff, movement, change of speeds, and location. It's not about how hard you throw. It's about what you selected, where did it end up. And I'll give, you, I'll give them all a good piece of advice. Greg Maddox is going to the Hall of Fame. And one time we were going down to the bullpen in spring training, so we had all our pitchers there, including our minor league guys. He said, Leo, you mind if I tell the pitcher, talk to the pitchers for a few minutes? I said, yeah, you go right ahead. And he looked at them all and he says, you know why I'm a blank and millionaire? He says, because I can locate my fastball. He says, you know why I have beachfront property in L.A.? I can change speeds. Thanks, Leo. He walks away, and I looked at all those young pitchers, and I said, what did he just tell you? That there's nothing more to pitching than fastball command and changing speeds. Sir, it's great to see you. Uh, what do you remember about the American Legion post that you represented pitching in American Legion baseball? I lost one of my toughest games when I was like 16, 17 years old. I lost a game 2-1 to one with 16 strikeouts because we couldn't, we couldn't score. But, no, I, mean, I, was, I thought American Legion baseball was really good because the high schools started combining their stars, you know, and plus you. So you had basically an all-star team from different parts of the state competing. That's some of the toughest baseball I've ever been in and some of the greatest competition I was ever in. It helped prepare me for when I signed out of high school. And Mark Teixeira, the Yankees came out of America Legion Baseball in Maryland down in Annapolis. Right. Well, the, I was more toward the western part, closer to Pittsburgh. So I was up in the mountains of West Virginia, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. So great to see you. Thank you for all you're doing to help advise young players about the best way to pitch, prepare to pitch, and uh, be healthy. Yeah, and let's not forget, uh, these people in this country don't need to not forget about American Legions and what they represent. Appreciate it, sir. Good to see you. Pleasure. On behalf of all of us at the American Legion.